What's up guys and welcome back to Two Broke Car Guys. I'm David. And this is... This is Mark right here. What's up guys? Yeah. It's been a while so I'm reintroducing us. <laughs> um, I have made a very, very big mistake and that is why we are not... We are not... We have not uploaded in a very long time. Yeah, it's been a while guys so... Sorry about, about that. Two months. <laughs> yeah, not uh, the intention. Yeah, there was zero intention in doing that and uh... I will take full responsibility of that. Give me two seconds. Um, let's just say I don't have the best luck with laptops and cameras and any of my equipment at the, for that matter. Um, what started the whole issue was I filmed a video on my GoPro and I was going to put it on my computer and it stopped. It wouldn't accept the footage onto my laptop. So I was getting mad. So I was like, well, whatever. I just won't do this. Well, then I go and film like two more videos on my camera. And it wouldn't accept any of that either. And I was like, well, what's going on here? Um, I don't exactly know what happened after that, but my computer randomly shut down and wouldn't turn on. So unfortunately, everything that was on that laptop, I lost. I'm going to try to res retrieve it, but we'll see where that hap goes and <laughs> where that puts us. Yeah, that's going to be a bit tough. So, But, oh, I have to say we had some technical difficulties, uh, you know, issues with computer and camera. But we're back, and yes. now we're going to talk about some cool things that we've done to our cars and uh, also some plans we got going on in the future. Um, we did a lot of stuff off camera to Mark's car, and then Jose also has a lot of stuff done to his car, which we will be doing a walk around to his car as soon as he gets off of work. Um, I know a lot of you guys are watching because of the focus. I know a lot of you guys were watching because of the Accord, I think. That's true. They like seeing that Accord. That Accord was in the videos for what, like three videos though? <laughs> you guys might not be watching for the Accord. <laughs> but, oh, I don't know if we mentioned it to anybody, but that Accord popped back up. Oh yeah, in the junkyard. It, he found it in the junkyard, <laughs> unfortunately. Yep. I wish that guy would have just told me and I would have bought it back for cheaper than what I sold to him, which would have been like a hundred bucks. Yeah, um, probably more than what he got from the junkyard for it. Probably. Um, oh, I will do a sneak peek of one thing that I'm going to be doing in my car because I see them right there. Can you grab those two foam pieces right there? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. The, the miracle is going to be these going on to the Miata. So I have a couple things to the Miata actually that I need to go on, which will be filmed. Don't you worry. Exactly. We're going to be filming more. Um, I'm not working as of right now because of situations going on right now. Um, Mark is still working. Jose is still working. So I can do as much filming as I want. But what has held me back a lot from uploading is because I want these two to be in it. <laughs> right. So we are back to recording. Um, oh, these are OBX adjustable cam gears, which will be going on my Miata so I can start actually doing some fine tuning. Um, I'm not very good with these, but Mark knows a little bit more information about them than I do. Um, which one? Yeah, I don't know where the other part is, but there's another part he's also. Oh, that's not going to get shown. I'm not yeah. going to show that. That 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 is probably the major. Mm -hmm. piece to this whole puzzle including these if if I include that part and these everything will be set in stone right um, and then we have to take it to the dyno and get it all tuned um, but finding a dyno for a reasonable price around here is ridiculous for two broke people big time <laughs> um, very expensive we like I I'm not I wouldn't say I'm actually broke as of right now but I don't want to go wasting a bunch of money on just freaking... get told that it didn't do much. Yeah, like if if I go waste like two hundred dollars on a dyno and I only gain like two horsepower, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and with Mark's setup though, he might actually have a higher number than stock because his car does extremely well compared to everything. The unfortunate part about this is the Miata doesn't really touch the street, so. I can't really tell you 
if it's gotten better or not. I'm just kind of doing these mods and just seeing like how much I can do without the knowledge of what my tuning is doing. Because <laughs> I did do, um, we actually just did something today, which we should have filmed, but we didn't. Um, yeah, exactly. And actually, it probably would have just caused a lot of cussing and stuff on the camera because I was getting pretty mad. Um, I did the 14 degree timing mod on my car finally and the cam angle sensor was stuck beyond all belief on the Miata. But we got it to move, we did the timing, um, we got it to advance 14 degrees. The craziest part about this whole situation with the Miata though was it was probably advanced like what, 20, 22? 22 degrees. Yeah, like 22 degrees, which is insane. I didn't hear any pinging, but now that I lowered it down to a 14 degree advance instead of a 22 degree advance, which I still want to know exactly what they were thinking when they put that on. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, that could have been me, because I did. I, I was the one that installed the camera. What were you <laughs> thinking? I, I, I didn't have a time in life. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, let's do... Let's cut this right here and then we'll come back in like two seconds. The other thing we are looking for is tires. Yeah. We need um, tires. I don't know if you guys want us to do a video on this because he, you have the Dunlop Derezas. Yeah, Dunlop Derezas. Which I like those tires. They're freaking nice. You've had R, RSRs, right? I've had RSRs, yeah. RSRs. Not the double R's. No. Jose has the double R's. Very soft. He has the Dunlop Perez's, Jose has the double R's, he's had the single R's, so he can kind of go back and forth on that. I, however, have never had a set of track tires. I always rock Falcon Zeke's, if anybody likes those tires, shout out to you. You should like this video, just because just cause you like those tires. Right. Um, actually, you don't have to like this video, but you can if you want to help us out. Um, but yeah, oh, that did not taste good. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for a nice drag tire. Um, if you think I should go RS double R's, let me know. My car is never going to be seeing the street. My car will be completely track, um, so I don't really need to worry about that. Mark, however, only has one car as of right now, so he needs a good tire for both track and street, or should he just get another set of wheels so and get it. track? Yeah, you should probably do that. I might end up doing that. Just grab another set of tires. Get some crappy old all terrains. Or yeah. oh, not all terrains. All season. All season. <laughs> not all terrains. Off road. All seasons. <laughs> um, That's if I lift it. The other thing, I oh, I have two sets of wheels for my car too. So mm -hmm. if you know anybody that's selling eight of the track tires you like for a good deal, let me know. I I would I will take them all. Hmm, what else? Yeah, so the next thing we're going to be doing is to my focus, we're going to be doing a port matching on the intake manifold. So we actually didn't film this, but we took the old intake manifold off because mine's a 2002 now. So we took the manifold that was on that and we took it off and we threw on the early 2000 uh, Ford ZTEC intake manifold on. So that's a better flowing manifold. It actually is a little bit bigger, so it allows more air to come in. But now I just need a throttle body so that way more air can come into the chamber in general. Which means we are going to have to port match it to make it work uh, properly. We're going to be showing you guys how to port match it properly. You base it off of the throttle body. Make sure that you can get a correct diagram and make sure you mark everything correctly. And then you don't get too crazy with it. You got to remember Ford Z-Tech Mintech manifolds that are stock are made of plastic. So you don't have to get crazy with it, you gotta be gentle with it, otherwise you're gonna take off way too much material and then the thing's not even gonna seal properly, it's not even gonna work. And the head that's on there is not the stock head. So it is a Z-Tech head, it is, it is a stock Z-Tech head, but it's not the one that came on the engine. Pretty sure that they put a new one on, I think may have, it may have had an overheating problem at one point, and this, the block was fine. And the cylinder head probably was warped, so I'm pretty sure they resurfaced the head. And that is why that engine actually has a little bit higher compression. So from what I've seen, if you take off about uh, 30, 30 thousandths, is it 30 thousandths of an inch? 
I don't know, it's that point zero three zero. If you take off point zero three zero of <laughs> material from a head, then what it'll do is it'll increase your compression by about point five because um, you're bringing the head closer to the block. So, and I'm not sure how thick the gasket was that they put on there. I don't know if it's a thicker gasket or a thinner gasket, but if you guys have the math on how much you have to take off of a head for, in comparison to the compression ratio, put that in the comment section. Uh, we definitely want to know. Yeah, so with the parts that we're going to be putting on, such as, you know, the cam gears for the Miata, and then we also have cam gears for mine, so we can tune it in a lot better. Um, underdrive pulley, and then AC delete pulley as well. That should actually make the car uh, have a lot more. Uh, Do you really torque. need an AC delete pulley though, or is it just? No, it's just belt? a it's a shorter belt. Okay. AC delete. So it'll just delete. I've been trying to it'll convince him to delete it. his AC for. I'm not taking the AC out completely though. I'm just gonna bypass it for for the track. Drop it in it. the comments if we get, if this video gets over ten thousand likes, even though that's freaking impossible <laughs> because we only have a hundred and seventeen followers, yep. which I want that number to go up too. But that's my fault for not uploading videos. But if this gets 10,000 likes, we're going to rip that AC right out of that. If we get 10,000 likes, then I will take the AC compressor out of my car. Thank goodness. But if anybody has a pretty decently straight-bodied Miata in the NA generation, maybe NB, I don't know. Um, it, can, it can need work. It's fine. Uh, I am going to be buying a project car for my girlfriend. Um, so we are we're on the market right now. That's true. It doesn't have to look perfect, but I mean, he bought his Focus for three hundred freaking dollars. I right. bought my Miata, pretty straight body for six hundred. Exactly. It needs some work. That's gonna be on another video too. I'm gonna explain exactly what was wrong with my first engine. Mm -hmm. So on that note, like, share, subscribe. Well, you don't have to share it, but like it, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Drop a comment on everything we told you to drop a comment about if you have any input or anything like that and uh welcome back to two broke car guys that's right later guys